When we have desires, such as wanting financial freedom, a job, or to attract a specific person, we often question ourselves. We wonder how we can manifest what we want. The law of assumption states that we must believe we already have what we want to manifest. But it can be difficult to believe in something that doesn't exist in the physical world. Many of us are raised in a society that discourages belief in our desires. We are taught to doubt and question ourselves and the process we follow. Even religious teachings often emphasize enduring pain and accepting the facts of life, even if they cause us suffering. However, we can change our feelings and experiences by changing our perceptions and perspective. The law of assumption teaches the opposite of what many religious and spiritual groups teach. In the manifesting community, we are taught that regardless of who we are, what we do, or where we live, we can experience and be whoever we want by changing our assumptions. We are told that we can have everything we desire and manifest anything we want. We are the creators of our own reality, unaffected by external circumstances. On the other hand, society teaches us about luck, fate, and accepting things as they are. We are led to believe that we must work hard to achieve our goals. It can sometimes feel delusional or too good to be true when we claim to have experiences that contradict these common beliefs. Instead of fully embracing the knowledge that we already have what we desire, it seems easier to accept the world as it is and believe we must work hard for our goals. Building faith and deepening our understanding of ourselves and our desires is important in overcoming these doubts. Neville Goddard, a prominent figure in manifesting teachings, emphasized viewing our desires as the spoken words of God. We shouldn't question whether we are worthy or capable of realizing these desires. Instead, we should accept them as gifts, be grateful, and go about our lives in peace. In simpler terms, Neville Goddard suggests that our faith is what determines our reality. Our thoughts have a significant impact on our lives, and our desires come from the divine within us. The lack of evidence in the physical world doesn't affect our ability to manifest our desires. The 3D world doesn't determine our fate or influence our lives. We have the power to decide what we want to experience and who we want to be. We are in control and nothing can prevent us from pursuing our desires. However, believing and assuming this can be challenging. Our minds are trained to accept things only if there is evidence. Believing in something without evidence, especially when it comes to manifesting a specific person, can be particularly difficult. Past experiences and the story we tell ourselves can create doubt. But when we believe that our desires come from the divine and that we are connected to everything and everyone, we can transcend the part of us that questions our worthiness or actions. It's important to remember that our desires don't only serve ourselves but also those we interact with. Whether it's a relationship, a dream job, or a new experience, we should believe that our desires are in the best interest of everyone involved. We are all connected, and we should trust that what we desire is meant to be. Our faith and persistence play a crucial role in manifesting our desires. Having faith means believing that we have already manifested what we desire and have become who we want to be. It's not about ignoring uncomfortable feelings or forcing ourselves to believe something contrary to our emotions. Instead, we can allow ourselves to feel and let go of negative emotions knowing that they guide us toward our desired reality. When we join the manifesting community, our focus is often solely on manifesting our desires. However, it's important to connect with our inner selves and understand that we are the creators of our reality. Our inner selves are the true source of power that influences our lives. We have been conditioned to seek validation and evidence from the external world, but true manifestation begins within us. We need validation from ourselves, not from the outside world. By connecting with our inner selves, we establish a connection with the divine. The need for external validation diminishes because we find answers and everything we need within ourselves. We don't require confirmation or answers from the outside world. As Neville Goddard said, I am therefore you seek me, let these go their way. When we connect with our inner selves, we access everything we need and we don't need anything else to manifest our desires. 
manifesting in the 3D world doesn't require focusing on external circumstances. The process begins in our minds, with our imagination and consciousness. Everything we need or want is already within us. We are complete, and we don't lack anything. We must step into the state where we feel we have already manifested our desires. If we seek validation or information to support our desires, it indicates a lack of belief or connection with our inner selves. If we encounter difficulties in connecting with ourselves, we shouldn't blame others. We need to invest in ourselves and work on our thoughts, imagination, and consciousness. The external world doesn't need to change, only our internal world does. We are capable of changing our thoughts and beliefs to align with our desires. In conclusion, the quote by Neville Goddard emphasizes the importance of faith and connecting with our inner selves in the manifesting process. While we may form our own opinions about his teachings, it's crucial to understand that our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. By believing in our desires and assuming that we have already manifested them, we tap into our true power as creators. We don't need external validation. Everything we need is within us. It's through this connection with our inner selves and faith in our desires that we can manifest what we truly want.